uh, internally, you know, we are going to be doing some testing um, probably late this year and um, early next year as it relates to Alpha 2. But prior to Alpha 2, uh, we will test some more spot-oriented testing um, with some of the Alpha 1 testers and or PI leading up to what would eventually become the Alpha 2 launch. Stephen Sharif, creative director behind Ashes of Creation, has a tendency of getting very excited about his project and giving us dates and timelines that Intrepid is not capable of hitting in development. It happened with Alpha Zero and Apocalypse, it happened with Alpha One, and again, last October, we were told spot testing was starting up in the next few months, and then it never did. Which is understandable, development changes and things like this happen all the time, dates get pushed back, it's game development. But, what if Steven has learned from his mistakes? What if he now knows that if he gives us a timeline, he is going to give us one further out than he actually believes will be the actual date? So instead of people getting upset by Stephen not holding to a date, they're excited because things are moving along faster than we had expected. What if Alpha 2 does drop in 2023? Nudes. I mean nodes. A system that is tied into about every single system in Ashes of Creation, in some way or another. I have always thought would be the very last thing that Intrepid decides to showcase before announcing some sort of Alpha 2 testing. They are what ties every bit of Steven's vision together, with this ever-changing world Intrepid is building. They are what unlock a lot of content to the game, such as world bosses, dungeons and raids. They will determine how many freeholds can be placed within certain parts of the world, their regions will unlock various story arcs for players to partake in. They literally shape each server to have its own story. So when nodes were announced for the July livestream, I got excited because this is peak content. The only potential system that could be bigger than nodes for Intrepid to reveal would be naval content. And if nodes are ready to be shown, then maybe the world of Vera is ready to be explored. Steven took to Discord last week and stated that we will begin testing freeholds in the Riverlands, the Tropics, and the Sandsquall Desert. Three zones that we know are in a semi-playable state. The Tropics was a big focus in Alpha 1, and players were able to set out and explore part of this zone beyond the Alpha Zero Island. The Riverlands have been the zone for the last year as Intrepid has taken us through feature after feature within this area. And the Desert, we got a trailer on just about a year ago, but even that trailer showed us a large part of this region, which after an additional year of development could be even more flushed out. These three zones, I believe, aren't a coincidence of being where we will start testing freeholds, as I believe these will be the first three zones we encounter in Alpha 2. Alpha 2 isn't going to drop every single zone in every single piece of content overnight. There will be specific testing focused on specific content, and Steven stated in the Q&A I did with him a few months months ago that an Alpha 2 zone is said to be playable when it is about 60% complete. We have a lot of zones that are planned for Alpha 2. Not all of them will be online by the time Alpha 2 launches, but I would say I would say generally when we talk about in preparation for Alpha 2, we bring the zones that are intended to launch with somewhere between like a 60 to 70 percent completion perspective before it's ready for an alpha 2. So these three zones should be very much ready to go at this point. Intrepid has also stated in the past that we will start to see things ramp up when we are getting close, such as community events and large feature breakdowns, and we had a Q&A three months ago in April with myself and two other content creators, Steven has another Q&A he is doing Sunday with the Ash and Forge, and another Q&A they have stated will happen in the next month to be announced later. Intrepid is using these community events to build up hype and give clarity to all the players out there. Intrepid also announced the 
end of cosmetic purchasing to be happening at some point in the near future with an actual date pending and buying into alpha 2 is something i expected to be shut down towards the lead up of the testing and lastly you may be thinking but richie we haven't seen the last three class archetypes well no one said we would see every single archetype at the start of alpha 2 they were stated at being in alpha 2 which could be at any point during testing the summoner and the bard will probably take the most amount of time to nail down as they are the more complicated archetypes so they could be something that intrepid is holding back while they get these archetypes as close as they possibly can to their vision before dropping them in for some real testing feedback so steven are you lying to us is alpha 2 closer than we think if you think it could be hit that subscribe button and click that thumbs up to support the channel and comment down below if you think i spent too much time in the copium tanks or you think alpha 2 will be here sooner than we thought otherwise if you're new to ashes and have yet to create an account feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums buy some cosmetics or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of vera otherwise be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come